The Audi A5 is a talented premium coupe that's well-built and comfortable, but it's beginning to feel its age. If you want a stylish and refined coupe with four seats, the Audi A5 has been one of the go-to options since its launch in the noughties. While it's a handsome and desirable machine, it's not one of the most thrilling to drive. Combine that with the less-than-dramatic design, and the A5 coupe faces stiff competition from its two primary rivals the BMW 4 Series and Mercedes C-Class coupe. The cabin is beautifully fitted out, however, using the finest materials, while the infotainment system and Audi's standard virtual cockpit setup give the car an impressively technological feel. There's a good range of trim levels that are all very well equipped and, with a bunch of petrol and diesel engines that are efficient as well as strong performers, the A5 is still worthy of consideration, despite its advancing years. Despite its sporty coupe looks, the Audi A5 is very civilized and refined to drive. It's based on the same chassis as the A4 Saloon and comes with a range of different suspension options which alter the way it drives. Turn into a corner and the A5 on standard suspension, rather than adaptive dampers, responds more quickly than a BMW 4 Series, plus there's a little less body roll. Yet the steering isn't as well-weighted as the BMW's, while mild torque steer upsets the front-wheel drive A5's composure when powering out of slower bends, the four-wheel drive Quattro model is more planted in similar situations. Take things easier, and the A5 impresses as a relaxed and refined cruiser. On the standard suspension setup it's a little firm at low speed, particularly on optional 19-inch alloys, but go faster and the dampers do a good job of filtering out road imperfections. Wind noise is also well suppressed, while the tall striding 7th gear in cars fitted with the S-Tronic gearbox keeps mechanical intrusion to a minimum. 0 to 62 miles per hour acceleration and top speed. The entry-level engine is the 35 TFSI, a turbocharged 2-liter with 148 bhp and an 8.9 second 0 to 62 miles per hour time. The same engine produces 201 bhp in the 40 TFSI and 0 to 62 miles per hour takes 7.1 seconds. The most powerful petrol engine in the standard range is the 45 TFSI, which produces 261 bhp and manages the 0 to 62 miles per hour sprint in 5.5 seconds, thanks in part to its standard Quattro four-wheel drive system. The 35 TDI 2.0 liter diesel makes 161 bhp and can hit 62 miles per hour from rest in 8.2 seconds, while the 201 bhp 40 TDI reaches 60 miles per hour in 6.9 seconds with Quattro four-wheel drive. All models use the same 7-speed automatic gearbox. It's worth noting that the entry-level sport trim isn't offered with the more powerful 40 or 45 TFSI petrol engine or 40 TDI diesel. The top of the range RS5 is powered by a 2.9-liter V6 with 444 bhp 0 to 62 miles per hour takes 3.9 seconds and top speed is electronically limited to 155 miles per hour. The most efficient A5 is the 35 TDI diesel, which returns up to 58.9 mpg and emits 125 grams per kilometer of CO2 while the 40 TDI delivers 50.4 mpg and from 147 grams per kilometer. Audi claims the 40 TFSI petrol will manage 42.8 mpg and 150 grams per kilometer, while the 45 TFSI manages 37.7 mpg and 170 grams per kilometer. Many Audi A5s will be run as company cars, but benefit in kind will be fairly expensive given its CO2 emissions, while the 45 TFSI is in the highest 37% bracket. Insurance Groups The Audi A5 starts at Group 27 for the entry-level 35 TFSI in sport trim. The range rises to Group 43 for a 40 TDI Quattro in Vorspring trim, while the 444 BHP RS5 sits in Group 44. By comparison, the BMW 4 Series ranges from Group 30 for the 420i to Group 40 for the M440i with 369 bhp. The Mercedes C-Class Coupe range spans from Group 35 to 50. Depreciation Our experts predict that the A5 will hold on to around an average of 40 to 45 percent percent of its value come trade in time, after 3 years and 36,000 miles. S5 aside, 
lower-powered petrol examples hold their value best, while the higher-powered petrol options in expensive black edition trim are best avoided if residual values are a concern. These top spec models are predicted to retain just 39 to 40 percent over the same three-year period of ownership. The latest Audi A5 isn't a radical departure from the old model in terms of styling. The sloping roofline gives it some visual impact but the lines and overall shape of the coupe are quite conservative. The body is a little longer but also narrower than before and the subtly embossed bonnet helps to differentiate it further from its A4 saloon sibling. LED headlights also bring a new lighting signature and have been developed to avoid dazzling other road users when they're driving towards you. The A the 5th of May not be the most visually appealing from the outside but the cabin is beautifully executed. The quality of plastics used inside the Audi is impressive and goes some way to justifying its hefty price. As standard, every A5 comes fitted with LED headlamps, adaptive cruise control, 18-inch alloy wheels, 3-zone climate control, LED daytime running lights, Bluetooth connectivity and Audi's MMI infotainment system, sat-nav, stereo and infotainment. All A5s now come fitted as standard with Audi's virtual cockpit. Its 12.3-inch widescreen display shows the sat-nav display straight in front of you, making it easier to follow the route guidance, while you can also change the radio station and look at the car's efficiency data through the different menus. It's a high-tech feature that fits well with the A5's well-crafted cabin. Build quality is brilliant throughout, with a simple but smart layout to the center console adding to the premium feel. Audi's 10.1-inch MMI infotainment setup includes navigation and a 36-month subscription to the Audi Connect service. This has a 4G connection and gives access to the brand's various apps, plus Twitter and Google Street View for detailed route-finding assistance. All this is controlled via the manufacturer's intuitive MMI rotary dial and shortcut keys that are located on the center console. There's also a standard voice control option, although using it takes a little patience. One of the biggest sacrifices you have to make when opting for a coupe over a saloon is a lack of practicality. Having only two doors can make access to the rear slightly awkward for taller adults and rather than three rear seats, you'll only find two. Once back there you will notice that there is more head and legroom than you'd initially think. Another plus is that the boot is only 15 liters down on the A4 saloon at 465 liters. That's also 85 liters more than you get in a Mercedes C-Class Coupe. Size. Against the tape measure, the A5 comes in at 4,673 millimeters long, 1,846 wide, and 1,371 millimeters tall. That makes it longer than a BMW 4 Series, but a little shorter than the Mercedes C-Class Coupe. It's not as tall as either of its closest rivals, but it is the widest, which means more shoulder room for rear passengers. Legroom. A wheelbase of 2,764 mm should mean there isn't as much space inside as in the BMW or Mercedes, as both of those models have a longer wheelbase. However, because the roofline on the Audi isn't as steeply raked as those of its rivals, there is more headroom. Legroom is very similar on all models, however. Boot space. The new A5 has 10 liters of extra boot space over the model it replaces, Though, at 465 liters that's still 10 liters less than the A4 saloon on which it's based. Still, it has a 25 liter carrying capacity advantage over the BMW 4 Series Coupe. Other highlights include a 40 hours 20 minutes and 40 seconds split fold bench, plus remote tailgate opening. Towing. If you're planning on using your A5 for regular towing duties you might want to opt for a diesel-powered model. The 35 TDI version is rated to tow 1,700 to 1,900 kilograms, with the 40 TDI variant slightly more capable at 1,800 to 2,000 kilograms. The entry 35 TFSI petrol car is able to tow 1,500 to 1,700 kilograms, while the 261 BHP 45 TFSI is rated at 1,700 to 1,900 kilograms. We'd always advise double-checking the individual towing limits of your car before hitching up a trailer or caravan. The Audi A5 finished in 56th place out of 75 cars in our 2022 Driver Power Customer Satisfaction Survey.
after not making an appearance in the previous 2021 poll. Audi does have strong representation in the latest survey, however, with the Q2 crossover, Q3 SUV, A3 hatchback and A4 saloon all featuring. There should be little to worry about in terms of safety. Euro NCAP scored both the A4 saloon and A5 coupe 5 stars out of 5 in its crash tests. It awarded the A5 89% for adult occupant protection too. Standard safety kit across the A5 range includes autonomous braking, stability control, a host of airbags and Isofix child seat mounts. Adaptive cruise control with a speed limiter and distance sensor is also fitted as standard, along with a rear view camera. Warranty. Like every Audi, the A5 comes with a 3-year, 60,000-mile warranty that includes unlimited mileage in the first two years. Mercedes and BMW both offer an unlimited mileage three-year warranty, however. Servicing. Audi offers two different service schedules for its cars depending on expected use. Its fixed schedule is recommended for lower mileage, urban-based cars and includes services every year or 9,000 miles. A flexible service schedule is for higher mileage use on motorways and main roads, with 19,000 mile or two-year service intervals. A range of fixed price options are available, as are monthly payment options. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and turn on notification for more video.